Hey, what's up, Halloween fanatics? I got a quick little video for y'all today. And if you're reading the video title, then the obvious answer will be John Carpenter, right? However, it was a multitude of creative people that helped Halloween 1978 achieve all that success. Let's dive in and give our attention and appreciation to the ones that deserve it, or the ones who got overlooked. First, let's talk about the late, great Deborah Hill. Not enough good things can be said about her. Of course she helped write the script to Halloween, but it's the little details that made the film what it was. For one, she thought of the name Haddonfield, and all the Halloween fans should know by now that Deborah Hill got the name from our hometown in New Jersey. And the name fits so well with the franchise, and it's become a staple in the horror community. Just think about it. Haddonfield, Illinois. I mean, it almost seems like a real town. Deborah Hill also wrote a lot of the dialogue for the characters, especially Lori, Annie, and Linda. And I just feel like Deborah Hill is overlooked simply because everyone thinks John Carpenter is the overseer, the mastermind behind every single thing that happened in this movie. And to be truthful, if it wasn't for that classic Halloween score... Would John Carpenter be looked at differently regarding this film? I'm sure some people would have gravitated towards it slowly but surely, but we all heard that story of John Carpenter when he first showed the movie to movie execs and they said it was boring and not scary. But when John Carpenter added that score, it changed everything. And we all know that John Carpenter gets all the credit, but you could argue that Dean Cundy made the film what it was. And if you don't know who Dean Cundy is, he was the cinematographer. And we all know that cinematography and Halloween 1978 are synonymous with each other. Certain images and cinematic shots is what made the movie arguably the best of all time. Moving on to another mastermind and the legit creator of the idea, Urban Yablans. That's right, Urban Yablans technically thought of the idea, the babysitter murders. But at the same time, no one saw the vision that John Carpenter or Hill did. And lastly, what some people deem as the godfather of the Halloween franchise. And rest in peace, Mustafa Akai, the legend who made things happen. He trusted John Carpenter and ultimately it paid off. And we all should give thanks to the late great Mustafa Akai. Overall, the easy answer to the question who was the ultimate mastermind behind the original Halloween, would be all of them. I mean, as a collective unit, this was the dream team. You can't deny that. However, for some strange reason, I really think Deborah Hill had a strong, and I mean strong, influence on John Carpenter and the making of this Halloween film. And honestly... That's who I'm going to choose for the ultimate mastermind behind Halloween 1978, Deborah Hill. So guys, who do you all think was the real mastermind behind Halloween 1978? Share your thoughts down in the comment section and subscribe and hit that notification button so you can see every time I upload. And also check out all my other Halloween topics and discussions and some rants. I have a lot of rants in there, <laughs> so you definitely don't want to miss out on that, including the one I just did on Halloween Kills. So, as always, just be safe, y'all. Peace.